Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So thank you very much to Tidyscope who continue to send us some of the new things that they have funded through Kickstarter, etc. I'll put a link to their microscopic camera. So these are cameras and telescopes that connect to your phone and use your phone to do all sorts of clever tricks with the information that you wouldn't be able to do on a normal microscope or telescope. So have a look for links for that one. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dwarf Telescope and this has sold out many times over on Kickstarter. Uh, I'll put a link below because they're working now on version 2 of this which is already overfunded but if you want to get involved you can. So what you will find with all the Tinescope products is they have that quality Apple feel and you have the same excitement when you're undoing the box of your new Apple phone or whatever. There are two ways you can connect your tiny scope telescope to your phone. You can do it by cable, in which case it will be powered from the phone's battery, or you can charge up this little baby, which allows you to not only power the tiny scope but to connect to your phone via the Wi Fi gives you a bit more flexibility. So there you can see the size of the camera. If I put my phone next to that, you can see it's pretty much just the same size. So you can see the lens there. You've got somewhere to fix your tripod and you've got a USB-C port at the back. And all the cables you're going to need are in the box. So you've got your uh, little manual, you've got your warranty card, and you've got your main cable, and you've got a couple of adapters, depending what type of phone you're using. So we're going to connect it up now to my iPhone. So before you can use it, you're going to need to download the TinyScope app, and that'll give you access to use your microscope or your telescope all in one place. You've also got the option to have a look at other people's handiwork and what images they've taken with the telescope, which is great fun. Here you can see the options at the front of the app and obviously we're going to be using the Dwarf Telescope for this video. So uh, we're going to use the Wi-Fi box to power the camera and connect it to the iPhone. So I've turned it on there and you can see you've got a green light. Uh, now going into my phone and uh, I'm now just going to select the scope there. So once I've selected uh, scope cam from the Wi-Fi box uh, to get my phone connected to that, then you just need to put your password in. Then the phone will connect to your natty little Wi-Fi box, which is also the power for the telescope. So there we are, we've got the Wi-Fi box up and running, which is easy. We've got the app running on the phone, which was dead easy as well and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of some uh, video in and some photos of the garden distance. It's a very murky day today in the UK so so you can really get a feel for the quality of just how accurate this is particularly if you use the auto focus mode. I'm going to do some shooting indoors from quite a distance and compare that to what it looks like with the phone. I think what this telescope is doing, it's about a 13x, that's what you're getting and you can play around with the settings to record absolutely anything really, even the moon. So here's the normal iPhone view. We're now going to have a look at the view through the telescope of the two soldiers there. And I'll focus in on the Christmas tree there and you can just see just how good the quality of the telescope is. And this is using the autofocus mode. So please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more fun here on MG Tracing.